Number 1. Alakahoyak Muzizi. There are many aspects which increase the importance of this site. First of all this are exceptionally intact remains of the ancient Hittite civilization, the real grandfathers of the Anatolian people. The burial sites with sun disc and deer figurine fragments give us clues about the burial tradition of the ancient kingdom. Number 2. Quorum Muzizi. Open air presented, biblical, Byzantine objects, pagan, Hittite objects, Islamic, Seljuk objects, different civilizations in the same land in different eras. Inside is quite contemporary, well curated, designed for handicaps through motorized stairs. Ethnographic Hall is a nice experience thanks to traditional soundtrack. Number 3. Lion's Gate. A fascinating place to visit if you are in or around Quorum. It is like walking through the ancient times and culture of the Hittites. This is only one of several gates. The area is so huge that you cannot possibly see everything in just one day. There are nearby museums that provide a good supplement to these ancient sites. Number 4. Bogaskal Museum. No doubt influenced by the gradual and recent reopening of travel the museum had only a few visitors while we were there. This is no reflection on the museum which nicely illustrates, with a range of exhibits and artifacts the Paleolithic, briefly through to late BC eras. The Bronze Age in particular is well represented. Number 5. Great Temple. One of the most interesting and mysterious ancient cities in Turkey. Ephes much bigger but buildings of Hattusis are much much more older. Megaliths which we can see at the place of Het temples obviously could be made only by progressive technologies. I believe they belong to older unknown civilizations. Number 6. Incesu Canyonu. Natural Canyon, free entrance, there are a lot of habitants staying for picnic, informative plates are not satisfactory, there is a walking path next to river adjacent to rocks, in some places there is a safety net overhead, river was almost dried, too hot to cover 1,700 meters sideway to the end. At the end of the path the Kaibel relief can be seen as the highlight. I absolutely recommend. Number 7. Bogaz Koi, Alakahoyak Mili Parki. So glad we made the short detour to visit Alakahoyak. Having visited Hadisha and Yazilikaya, we weren't sure what to expect. But it didn't disappoint. Much smaller than Hadisha, the ruins were accessible via a series of walkways, with regular information boards in English and Turkish. I was blown away by the royal tombs, displayed in situ, but with innovative perspex coverings which means you can see them as the archaeologists must have seen them. Number 8. Alaka Hoyak. The highlight of this necropolis, several burial pits in which plates and dishes, weapons, ritual objects and ornaments are discovered. In addition, several monumental defensive walls with figures of sphinxes on the gates, a temple, and other architectural structures dates from Hittite period are worthy to be explored. Number 9. Cyclic Taviat Parki. The Frequency Nature Park, located on the Samson Road, about 5 kilometers from the city center, is operated by the Quorum Municipality. There are hundreds of camellias in different parts of the park in a very large pine area. It is a very nice place to spend a nice weekend with the family, no need to go early, if you don't need to go early, with playgrounds for children, toilets, mosques, places. Number 10. A-H-L-P-A-R-K. It looks stylish, modern and quite new. You can find middle-class brands Waikiki, Collins, and also quite expensive reasonable cosmetics and perfumes, brands for children Ebebeck, cans, accessories, things for home, practicer, home textile, there's quite good food court with most common brands of cafes. There is also a cinema. I think, for a local city as Quorum Place is very nice and profile of people, visitors, is okay. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.